Oh, hey. Hey. How's it going? It's going great. Um, so I made this really cool mm -hmm. spinach artichoke dip that I know is going to make it into the fabulous playground cookbook. Fantastic. Ready to try it? Absolutely. I'm dying to try it. But uh, should I make you some drinks first? That you can't have an appetizer great. without drinks. Am I right? Am I right? right. I'm right. So uh, I've selected a flaming rosemary gimlet. Yes, from Shaker and Spoon. Shaker and Spoon. So uh, we're going to have a small portion because this is an afternoon kind of appetizer thing. So we're going to make one drink and split it between the two of us because it's that's that. sharing. <laughs> I'm here all week. Um, so, uh, so let's go ahead and start here. As you can see, I've already, of course I'm lying, you did it, but for the sake of entertainment, <clears throat> as you can see, I've already put these wonderfully fresh sprigs of rosemary here in the bottom okay and so uh next we're going to it's a great off to a great start next we're going to put some underberg bitters in. Mm. yeah everyone loves the underberg bitters and so we're looking to put about some i'm gonna say an eighth of an ounce which is just a little bit here about that much there and maybe about that much here Right? Okay, so we got the bitters in there, which is amazing. Roll them around a little bit there so they can uh, get comfortable with the rosemary. Just a little bit. We don't want them to get too comfortable, right? Because we want them to be perfect for our drink. So the next thing that we're going to do is we've got the actual setup for the rosemary and the bitters. Now we're going to do the gin. It's and very uh, garlicky. <clears throat> I can't wait to try it. I put about... Um, about 10 cloves of minced garlic in this one. So while he's min mincing, let me tell you how I mixed this fabulous appetizer. Please do. <laughs> I'm getting into that habit where you clap your hands. Right. It's like so annoying after all. It's my habit okay. or yours? All right. Anyway, uh, your turn. All right, so uh, I've got the gin in here and I'm gonna put a little bit of lime juice as well. I already put the bitters in. We should probably replace the cap. It'll help it stay fresh. Power user tip, always replace the cap as soon as you're done with anything so that it'll stay fresh. Thank you for that urgent reminder. Um, so the last thing we need here is we've got the simple syrup right here and we're gonna need a little bit of that in here. <clears throat> so probably about, so oh, I'm gonna say right about there. One of these days, I think maybe for Christmas, I'll get you a little measuring thing. Yeah, that'd be nice. So. I appreciate it. It's something other than a measuring cup makes it look like I'm on a cooking show. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. Okay. This is only half a cooking show. Right. If I'm gonna be a Except real. We're not cooking. We're just eating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's true. But see, but I did want the cooking. Well, yeah, because when the book comes out, mm -hmm. they're gonna see if we liked it or not. Yeah. Brilliant, right? Awesome, I love it. Okay, so now at this point, um, we're gonna shake, we're gonna shake this concoction here. And you're gonna want to do it about 15 to 30 seconds, just enough so that mixture kisses the ice and kind of blends together. What language is that? That's definitely not sign language. Oh, I get it. Funny. I like things icy cold, so I'm gonna go for the full 30 on this one. Hand is getting very cold. Turning blue. Dang green might be settling in. Okay. So and that is the whoop, recipe. Whoop, whoop. And if you you know Alright. Let's um enough of the fun. This is a serious show. Alright, so we've got this all shaken up. And now it, it says to open the shaker and set it down. Oops, I set it down first. Oh well, they're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to improvise now. I've completely gone off uh, No, it's still gonna off be track amazing. Here. All right, so now, Do you want it? I have to light something on fire. Oh, you need a lighter. Can you get me a lighter? I don't know where one is. Hold on one second, folks. Please, please enjoy the music while you wait. I might be entertaining too, you know. Maybe not. Anyway, so we just, you can serve anything with spinach artichoke dip. Like, what is your favorite thing? Tortilla chips? Us too. So that's what we did. 
Um, so this is super garlicky, and it's baked. No, it's good. All right. Oh, look, you found it. Genuine Bic lighter. Always use the best when working with fire, because fire can be dangerous. So, uh, we are actually going to light this now. Here we go. So we're gonna light it. restaurant in Long Beach called Cellar V, mm -hmm. but some people call it Cella V. Cella V, I get it. Cellar V. That's very clever. And we got this when they were um, moving. All right. And so I know that these can handle fire because she used to, um, Deborah used to um, make, what was it again? With the beans. It's not lighting. It's not lighting. Oh, I know why. Why? You're going to kill me. What's that? Because I washed it first. The leaves are probably wet. Well, they're wet with the bitters. That shouldn't make a difference. Okay, can I try? Yeah, sure. I think he's just afraid. This better not be those, like those trick glasses, like those trick candles. No, it should lighter. When we edit the video, we'll just speed this part up. <laughs> oh God, this is embarrassing. It's not gonna light for me either, is it? Shoot. You had to watch the rosemary. Well, lesson learned, right? Man, I was expecting this to just... Maybe it's... I smell fire. Well, that's because I was holding it. <laughs> I just didn't think bitters were flammable, did you? I used the bitters? That's what it says. Well, I know this is still going to be amazing. Maybe I just hold the fire there. Can we just microwave it? Well, it smells good. Hmm. We'll have to ask them. Well, I could just sit here for about five minutes and just kind of <laughs> cook it with this lighter. You notice he put more bitters in his than he put in mine? Look, see? Look, see? Yeah, this just ain't happening, man. Hmm. It's gonna blow up in my face. See that show that they do all like the really? those videos, those. What if it's on fire and we just don't notice it because it's daytime? <gasps> it is on fire. Oh, okay. So that's kind of important that you may think it's not on fire, but it is on fire. It just didn't stay on fire very long, but it, it was on fire. Okay, so it's just because it's daytime. And we yeah, it's on fire there. Right? Oh, you know, I felt something when I. It's actually it on fire. Yes. Oh, I can see the fumes. Oh, on God. Top. So, now what? Well, I think oh, it's about five to ten hey, seconds. Me. So, we'll try you next. Mm. All right, here we go. What is in this drink? Fire. Fire, exactly. She reminds me of your mom, the singer. Who is it? I don't know. His mom sings. That's Betty. Betty Ann Steele. What? It's It's actually on fire. Okay, so there you go. That's really important. I'm afraid to. Uh, I can hear oh, it. No, all you look for is the fumes on top of the glass. If you see that one. I don't have my glasses on. Okay, I know they make it look a lot easier in the movies. It's definitely hot. Let me just do this. I don't know. I know you're all thinking right now. I gotta make that drink. I can tell. So she yeah, it's a cooking. Awesome. You hear it? A little sizzling sound. Okay, I think that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. Cool. Come by. Just get it. Right. Um. All right. Hey. Well, uh, now. You wanna try one of these real quick? Sure. Do you have to shake that again? Nah, probably. You made this is homemade. Isn't that supposed to cool off or something first, anyway? Or was that my other recipe? This is great. Well, that's not very enthusiastic. Better than store bought. Just kidding. No, this is really good. It's rich and garlicky. And cold. And fresh. Mmm. I might mm -hmm. not even get to the drink. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's very garlicky. I think this is perfect for holidays with a drink like this. Invite your friends. You know, back in the 60s, neighbors would go to people's houses, right? Each other's houses and have cocktails. It actually happened back then. People so, don't do that anymore. You no, know, it's just... At best, we have barbecues. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it was really good though. Here's to your help. That's not, it was so pretty. It's very pretty. You know, anything of floating rosemary wins my heart. All right, here we go. Wow. That's, oh my God. It tastes amazing. I wasn't sure what it was going to taste like after I almost I set the house awake. on fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. The flavors are just like, notice me. Mm. And this is missing in cocktails, and that's why I love these drinks. Oh, this is fantastic. It was really good for the holidays. Wait, what is this one called? So, uh, it's called a Flaming Rosemary Gimlet. Mm. Well, it is sort of gimlet-like because it's sweet. Um, oh my gosh. uses gin, uh, which is my favorite type of gimlet. Mm. Vodka ones are not bad. But apparently, the background on this, Surgeon General Sir Thomas Gimlet, I didn't know this, first began adding lime cordial to the Royal Navy's daily gin ration in order to combat scurvy. Who knew that? Uh, it really caught on. Our twist on the classic gimlet created by Keith Waldbauer of the Seattle Bar Rumba uses the amazing and flammable German herbal digestive Underberg, which is right around here somewhere, mm -hmm. safely sealed with its cap on, um, and it's still good. That's why it's still good. And uh, lighting the rosemary on fire with that, this is flammable, unlike probably Angostura. Mm. Bitters, this probably isn't. But yeah, it has a wonderful aromatic quality. Mm -hmm. and I didn't know there were so many different bitters out there. Remember last time yeah. we were... Definitely brings out the uh, gin's lovely herbal notes. And if you're a fan of Tangeray like I am, because I like Tangeray for these types of drinks. Mm. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Come by. On our first episode. <laughs> Come by. Spasiba. Cheers. Yay. All right, let's go. Happy New Year. <laughs>